Okay, so I slid these pads out, and these pads were, um, I got these made at a, a local place here where they do upholstery, and these are just uh, some furniture grade um, foam, sheets of foam. They're about, I think they're like, each one's about three or four inches thick. Um, and then she made a cover for them so we can wash the cover. Um, but those will just slide in, I'll show you that in a minute, to, to form the bed. But um, here's the platform that I made. I just did this with a bunch of scrap wood that I had. Um, so as I showed you before, the crates are underneath. Let me show you how, if you have the pads out, you can open this up. Um, and you can access your stuff this way too. It makes a flat surface here you can use for cooking or whatever. Um, but let me show you what all is in these, in these containers here. I've got um, this one here is a bunch of toiletries. It's got, um, I've got a kit here with all, my, all of our toiletries in it. Um, there's a solar shower, wipes, mirror, toilet paper, towels, you know, washcloths, all that kind of stuff. Um, this one here is our camp cookware. You know, pots and pans and all that kind of stuff is in there. Can openers, there's paper plates, plastic utensils, all that stuff. Uh, between the two layers of, of uh, crates, I've got a tent, regular tent there if you want a tent camp. There's a tarp, uh, there's a gas can. Um, I think I've got some axes and some camp chairs down there too. Um, up here in the second level of the totes, this one, I usually put some food in there. I've got some fishing gear. Um, this one's got our buddy heater in case it's real cold. There's a fan back there. There's a Coleman lantern um, that runs off propane also. Um, some various other things in there. Um, there's a radio, I believe, in there. Um, this one's got a bunch of tools in it. I've got a siphon pump and a tool kit. Um, and I've got like a survival kit there. Um, a few different things in that one, some duct tape, odds and ends tools and that kind of stuff. Um, over here, I got tired of my Coleman stove rattling around, um, so I installed a magnetic strip uh, behind it. You probably can't really see it there, but it keeps this Coleman stove really, you know, in there tight, so it's not going to move around. You don't hear any noise when you're driving, but I've got my Coleman stove back there for cooking. All this stuff's on propane, so when I do uh, head out for a camping trip or whatever, to make sure I've got everything I need, I just load up some of the... I usually keep this space kind of clear up here and I'll just put some propane cans right here and then I'm set to go and fill the cooler and fill up the water jug and you're pretty much ready to roll. So uh, now that I showed you that, let me show you uh, the van in bed mode or camp mode. So anyway, let me pause for a second. I'll be right back with the bed all set up.